In the new generations of the applications, we can see a lot of beautiful animations. If you want to know how the professional developers are implementing these animations inside these apps, be with me till the end of this video and I will be showing you how to do it. Let's learn. Hello everyone, I'm Mohsen and I want to show you how to implement Loti animations in your apps. But first of all, let's see where we can find them and what are these Loti animations. Let's go. If you search for Loti files, you will achieve this website. And in this website, in the products, in animations, you can achieve these uh, free animations. These are Loti animations uh, and most of them are built in Adobe After Effects uh, program. And uh, these are code based. Uh, animations uh, if you change the size of them the quality of them will remain constant all the time uh, so you can see a lot of different animations here and uh, based on your project if you want a specific field you can search here for example a sport and you will find a lot of different animations about the sport Some of them are free and some of them are pro, so you should pay for them. And here you can filter them to just see the free versions. Then by clicking on them, you can edit them or download them. To download them, you need to download this uh, Loti JSON file. By pressing download, uh, you will be able to see it in your computer and uh, I will show you how to use it in Android Studio in your project. Let's go to Android Studio. The video has two parts. In the first part, I will show you how to implement the animation in a way that it plays uh, continuously and non-stop. And in the second part, I will show you how to implement it in a way that it plays only once and by clicking on it, it will be restarted and it will be played one more time so anytime that you want to play it again you have to click on it okay now let's see what we need to implement Lottie animation first of all you have to go to the resource packages and here create a new package calling raw and uh, put your animation inside it uh, you can click on the resources new and the android resource directory here choose raw and click ok now you have this folder then you just need to uh, copy and paste the downloaded animation here into this directory here i have my animation and you can see it's uh, all just code base and uh, you can use it here in your application okay now let's go to the gradle to add the dependencies here down below uh, you have to add this line uh, for the lotty animation i will put it uh, in the description down below and you can copy it then uh, click the sync Okay, the sync is done and uh, we are ready to implement the application. Uh, so, here I have empty application. Let me delete the extra extra and zoom a bit. And here I'm going to create a function calling it my app. Oh. 
composable function. Oh yeah. Modifier equals to modify. Okay. Here inside of this function, I need a box. And here, modifier dot p max size, then content alignment, alignment center to see the animation in the center of the script. And here, uh, if you want, you can create another function to implement the uh, animation inside it or directly start with working with animation. I prefer to use the animation directly. So, lotty animation. Here, as you can see, I have uh, some stuff. First, uh, composition and second uh, progress let me comment this progress because I will not use it now in the first type but we need a variable for the composition I am going to create this uh, variable here calling it composition uh, by remember uh, Lotti composition and here uh, I need this aspect uh, I'm going to write lotty uh, composition aspect and dot raw resource and here I'm going to pass the address of uh, the file of uh, the animation or dot row dot cartoon characters pressing control enter to import the stuff and it's ready here and for the composition i'm going to pass this composition and then in the next line I'm going to write uh, sorry iterations lotty constant dot iterate whatever let's check it on the emulator for the first time okay as you can see it's playing and the size of it is so good uh, but if uh, you chose an animation that uh, was so small you can add a modifier here after composition and uh, equals to modifier dot size uh, it can be 500.dp implement the dp and another comma and you will have a bigger size animation that uh, it has a good quality okay I change the size and you can see uh, it works perfectly now let's go to the second part uh, to implement on click here um, we don't need this I'm going to comment it 
because it makes this animation to be played uh, all the time constantly and we need the progress now for the progress we need some more variables and i'm going to create them here first of all uh, i need a variable as a boolean uh, to see if it's playing or not is playing uh, by remember a mutable state of and I'm going to pass true as the default value importing it and that's it yeah. then I need another value calling it progress by animation where Lottie composition as a state animate Lottie composition as a state here I'm going to pass the composition and also I'm going to pass is playing equals to is playing okay now I have the progress here and uh, here I'm going to pass this progress uh, we need to use launch effect to uh, change to check and change the state of this is playing so I'm going to use launch defect and as the key I will pass the progress because we need the key as a boolean then in the body of the launch effect I will check if the progress equals to uh, zero f and in the next part if the progress equals to one f okay what are these two uh, values 0f and 1f uh, when the progress is running the value of the progress is equal to 0f and when the progress is done the value of it will be equal to 1f so we have to set the state of this uh, is playing based on the progress so is playing equals to true and is playing equals to false and now i'm going to sorry i need one more equal sign here uh, i need uh, to manage clickable on the modifier and here i just need to uh, change the is playing to true now anytime i'm clicking on the uh, animation the is playing will be true and uh, the progress based on this is playing will be restarted and in the launch effect we will check it and uh, whenever it's done so it will be a stop let's check it on the emulator okay it has a stopped and i'm going to click on it and as you can see it's uh, playing again okay that was everything that i wanted to tell you about uh, loading animations in your applications for this video and in the next videos i'm going to use these animations to build a professional splash screen and uh, onboarding screen if you are new here please hit the subscribe button right now 
to receive notification about those new videos as well and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up to make me happy and give me energy thank you for your time if you have any question any suggestion write them down below in the comment box for me and i will be so happy to read and answer them uh, have a good day bye bye